Today we're going to be going over the setup of email notifications in Proxmox using Gmail. Uh, there is a great uh, write-up on how to do that, uh, so I'm not going to do a write-up on it, uh, but I will put the link where this is. Um, basically, it's uh, setting up the email notifications, um, and it's 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 pretty uh, well documented, and it's, it's pretty easy to set up. Um, I've actually set it up on mine already, and uh, it seems to work quite well. Uh, basically, once it is set up, uh, uh, you know, let's go through the steps real quick. Shouldn't take too long. From here, what we're going to do is follow along and basically go into options, options, email, set the email address here to the email address you want it, uh, the from address to be. Uh, next is actually to look up the root user for Pam. Next is to go in and set up the email user, uh, the root user or whatever user you want to get the emails in users and then edit and put the email address right here on this line go to the shell and then within our shell we're just going to make sure that we have the uh, module and mail utils and both those have already been installed so everything looks good there next thing we got to do is make sure we have app password set up in gmail itself for this and then we will change uh, directories into the etsy postfix And we'll do a nano SASL underscore password. And this will be a new file. Um, and then in here, you'd actually put that information uh, just like this. So it'd be the SMTCom email at gmail.com and password. And then you'll do a change mod on it as well. And that will uh, set it to uh, like read only for protection purposes. And then after that, we'll do a post uh, mail hash SSL passwords. We're basically encrypting that or generating a password database file for that. Uh, next, we'll actually go in to the mail CF post fix and main. Once you're in the main there, all you're really going to do is just change the relay host to smtpgmail.com 587. Uh, that's the port that it uses. Uh, your TLS and all that stuff says yes and yes. And then next, what you'll do after that is actually do a postfix reload. And then we'll actually send... A test email and then we check our actual email and we got the test so we can see that everything worked and you might be wondering why you want to do that and one of the reasons why is when you're actually doing backups of your images or you want to send emails uh, from pretty much anywhere or anything we can go into our and we will do a quick backup of our monitoring and say backup and backup now that's fine. Okay, we see that the task has been completed, but if this is just running in the background and, uh, you know, you're remote somewhere and you just need to go in, you just go in, check your email real quick, and you can see that it has started, gives you all the information of your backups. So that is setting up Gmail on your Proxmox to get notifications. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you would, please like and subscribe, and thanks a lot, and we'll work on the next one of actually setting up monitoring uh, for our systems. Uh, that will be the next video. Thanks a lot, and have a great night.